There are oh so, so many new hot ingredients in skincare these days, but what are they and what are they actually good for? Well, Dr. Jordan Kirkaville, founder of the Durham Institute of Chicago, is here to break down a few of those products for us. I mean, we hear a new ingredient every uh, other week, it seems like, and we don't know what they are. Yeah. They say they're natural, they're coming from nature, and it's like, okay, but why does it have such a long, complicated name? So well, why okay. does it sound so gross like snail mucin? <laughs> like, who put snail mucin on their face? I have trouble keeping up myself. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we know Amy loves her skincare. Yes. So, um, snail mucin, yes. So, this is one of the products that we are seeing. It's been around a couple years. Um, snail mucin is derived from snails. It's that slimy, thick Ugh. fluid that yes. comes from when they, you know, when they creep shiny, around. That shiny stuff you see on the cement. So, some companies exactly have put it into the skincare lines. And um, it's thought to have hyaluronic acid. Okay. So, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid is in lots of um, skincare because of its ability to bind water. Mm. And um, it helps create, enhance our barrier. Okay. So, um, snail mucin is meant to mimic that or has that in it. Is it slimy um, like that too? Oh, that's a toner. That's a toner. So, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a regular, just hyaluronic acid, so that it's um, you Which can kind of see. Yeah. It's kind of like a clear gel, kind of you know, not too sticky, but yeah. it, it hydrates our skin. Well, so I think acid, and I think break down, you know, like right type instead two. of hydrating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there are different. So if you actually break the hyaluronic acid up, it does have a smaller component, so sodium hyaluronate. It's one of the salts of it, mm -hmm. and so basically oh. it binds water and it yeah. sits on the skin. Sodium hyaluronate can penetrate the skin a little bit better than a regular large molecule hyaluronic acid but the purpose is to bind water and keep our skin dewy and bright okay and then, so this because that involves animals and then you have something that is more nature-based plant-based so if you're not into animal byproducts like snail mucin um, you can use different hydrators like a simple hyaluronic acid um, there's also beauty oils and elixirs that we're seeing more now so this one is a plum elixir okay um, so this is more of a beauty oil but it also serves as a non comedogenic way, so non-acne causing way to hydrate mm. the skin, and it's combined well with a hyaluronic acid. Okay, yeah. so it won't clog your pores. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So this next one, is this the squally? I can't even pronounce these. Yes, so it's, it is a little confusing because it's sometimes seen as squalene. Squalene. Mm -hmm. and, okay. um, but we're seeing mostly in skincare is squalene. Squalene, um, okay. So squalene is the hydrogenated version of squalene, and so it's um, it's also just an oil. Oh. Um, it's a non-comedogenic oil, similar to the plum elixir, um, and it's it's pretty hot in skincare right now. I see it in um, uh, sunscreens even and moisturizers. Didn't it come from sharks or something? That's a really good question. So it did shark liver oil and so now a lot of companies are moving towards the vegan, um, so it can also be derived from olive oil. Okay, so I do it. recommend to look at the products. Um, so this one says here, like it's olive oil derived. Okay. So you want to find vegan ones because it's obviously shark liver is not sustainable legal anymore, right? right? I just don't so think it's it a, yeah, be. Right. shouldn't be. So we're moving on down. Um, the so, actual spices. Right. So this is turmeric. So this in for year, ancient history has been used as um, anti-inflammatory in diet and flavors. So they're capturing it, its companies are capturing it in skincare for its antioxidant properties. Okay. Um, so it's it's mixed with vitamin C's and regular skincare, um, but antioxidants, they decrease free oxygen radicals. And so dermatologists like myself like reduction of free oxygen radicals because it reduces skin cancer mm. um, and also aging. Okay. okay, so does it leave like a tag? Because it, I mean, it's orange. Is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like a bronze. I, I, as an example, I think it just blends in its skin. It's, okay. it, it makes a pretty color for packaging. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a vibrant color, but it doesn't leave you too orange. Okay, so I love these. Is this a jade roller? So this one is actually rose quartz. Oh. Um, so I guess it will be green <laughs> if it was yeah. jade. Yeah. You can try it. So, okay. they, feel so good. they use uh, jade and um, rose quartz. So really any sort of mechanical pressure on the skin can increase blood flow. Okay. Um, if you use it in the right direction, upward, outward, it can help with lymphatic drainage. So it can work if you use it to... So if you have puffy eyes in the morning, yeah. you can work some of that out or oh. post-procedurally. Okay. Um, it's really just a mechanical, like, you know, enhancer of uh, circulation. Yeah. Um, and some people, I think, like it for the <laughs> 
ritual um, of skin care, yeah. ritual of skin care, and med meditative components with stones and and uh, healing stones. I want to get to this last one because we only got about a minute left. Because I read that the the two of these ingredients that I cannot pronounce are supposed to mimic the effects of Botox. Right. And I was like, what? How is that going to work? So I think that was a TikTok thing, and um, basically this is argireline, which um, is interesting. It has potential. It has a similar mechanism of action as a neuromodulator like Botox, but the penetration is poor. Okay. So in reputable literature, it shows that this is very, very difficult to get down to the muscle where it would have to, to work. It would have to be to, to, work. to actually be like uh, Botox. Yeah. Right. So. Do they have any benefits on their own? Um, well, Matrixol is a peptide, and it ha it's also combined with hyaluronic acid, so that can stimulate collagen and hydration. Okay, but, but you're not getting a Botox effect out of them, I too. think so. I think combination is always the best. Skin care plus minimally invasive procedures. All okay. right. Dr. Carville. Yeah, thanks for clearing <laughs> some of that. There's so much out there. It's crazy. Buzzy, buzzy, buzz.